Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. And YouTube and welcome. We are drafting the Teamer Cube. I don't even know if we're going to finish this draft, to be honest. Because I'm kind of harambe. Field of the Dead. This has not looked like a cube where Field of the Dead was good. I am sad to say. Nothing in this pack looks good, though, sadly. Hi, hi, Vanwidge. I could see Sylvan Library. Yeah, that's not a bad one. All the other stuff is like so mediocre, right? I really don't believe that Field of the Dead is good in this cube. Because like when you take something like this, you want to draft a five color deck, like ideally. And the most you're going to be drafting here is three colors. You don't even need that much mana for, for three colors to be good. So that makes me just question whether this is even like a good card to include in this cube. I mean, going Sylvan Library into Nissa who shakes the world is not a bad start. There's a bivouac here. There's basically those two. There's a mystic confluence, which is obviously awesome, but kind of like a sketchier pick following a Sylvan Library. Ooh, I would love Rex Age. This card looks like it's very good in this cube, actually. But I think this is just a pretty clear follow-up. All right, there's some actual options here. Gargdad, Fof. Nissa might be reasonable also. This is just stupid. Yeah, that card is really, really good. The card is busted. Oh, excuse me. Um, kind of like in the Gargaroth. We saw we saw some games earlier where our opponents were like cranking out Gargaroth, and it just gets you on the board so fast. Gaia's Cradle. Not sure how good this card is in this cube. I bet we can make it work. We just have to pick up the the little shit birds. Oh, there's a Taiga too. Taiga could be very good as well. Taiga might be even better. Because I think the duels are so much better than like the shocks slash the trilands even. Because those come into play tapped. Stomping ground is neat too. Oh, I didn't see that in the last pack. Interesting. I think I might just take the Taiga. Gyre Sage is not that good. <laughs> we got the eye of the taiga. Taiga uppercut, baby. Gyre Sage is really mediocre. I think I'd rather take a Fabled Passage over Gyre Sage. I mean, I guess it's it's a two mana ramp for one, basically. Ooh, I could see Emrakul, potentially. It is early. It's probably... Yeah, yeah, you know, I like that way better than I... Uh, Ooh, thank you so much, my love. You are welcome. I appreciate that. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, I just got some iced tea, baby. Well, it's it's an it's an AP. It's iced tea and lemonade. Natural order. I like that. Yeah, I like the Emmy spec. That's pretty good. Am I looking forward to drinking caffeine again? Yeah, you know, I don't drink that much caffeine that my caffeine intake had to go down that much, to be to tell you the truth. Like, because you can still drink up to 200 milligrams when you're pregnant. Um, so it hasn't even, like, really changed my caffeine consumption that much. Um, I'll take Paradise Druid. You don't drink caffeine period over two years. Yeah, I don't drink that much. So Drange Hermit could be cool, especially if we find an opposition. I've never seen Wordly Tutor. What is this? 
Search your library for a creature card, reveal it, then shuffle your card and put it on top. How much is 200 milligrams? Like a cup of coffee? It's a cup. Uh, uh, yeah, I am pregnant. <laughs> Wood Elves Wield. Wood Elves is a good pickup. 200 milligrams is like a cup uh, and a half. Like an eight ounce cup and a half. Or like 12 ounces. So like you can have like a latte in a day. You can have a lot of... Nah. Three Diet Cokes is much less than 200 milligrams of caffeine. Thank you so much, TRF. I am, I'm eight months pregnant right now. So pretty fed up. Oh, normal Coke. Does the caffeine content change with Diet Coke? I don't know if that's true. Oh my gosh, Chibika, why I haven't seen you in so long. Welcome. It's like the bivouac, but I don't think we're playing it. Hi, hi. Hello. Welcome, Louise. All these are bad. We're not playing any of these guys. Nope. Where was... Uh, Tolarian would have been good in our last deck. Diet same as regular. That's what I thought. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't think the sugar content is <laughs> very different. <laughs> uh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. We can maybe get something cooking with that card. That could be sweet. Especially if we get like a Raminap Excavator or something like that. Or like a Renin 6 elf. What elf are, do we have here? Oh, there's the Lana Worlds. Man, Lana Worlds is clearly the right pick. If maybe Dread of the Elysian Grove comes back. Oh, baby. Maybe Harmonize comes back? It doesn't seem like people are taking green super actively. I used to drink two normal Cokes a day, so yeah, I cut caffeine hard. Drinking two normal cu cu cups of that's not a lot of cutting caffeine, Firefly. I hate to tell you. Look. So, Coke's caffeine, caffeine content is 34 milligrams in a 12-ounce can. A cup of coffee is like... Try it seems like a cool card. Do you think it should go another cube? Oh, my God, Molly. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, <laughs> Louise. I got you. You're back. All right. You're back, Louise. <laughs> I don't think it went bird in Confluence. Emergent Sequence seems okay. I don't really... This cube has been so aggressive. I kind of am having trust issues with my creatures being also ramp. Oh, yeah. It's cutting... A, I Look, I'm not saying that cutting two Cokes a day is bad. I, I think that's excellent. All I'm saying is that that's not really cutting that much caffeine. Let me take Emergent Sequence. Ranger Class A. Oh, there's Sylvan Karyatid too. Kind of like the Karyatid more than Jorogatry Speaker. I think this is a better Ram creature. This cube is just like full of... It's full of targeted removal. Hey, Lloyd. Oh, there was a Triome. I did not see the Triome. Yeah, Triome would have been good too. It's been a while, Lloyd. I'll take that. Um, Mirror Battles feels cool. Garrick is also cool. I think I'm going to just take Garrick there. Um, we could take Nature's Claim, put it in the sideboard. We're living the Mono G dream. I think at this point it does look like we're going to be Mono G. I guess I'll take a Sousa. Cold Steel Heart, Sylvan Scrying. We don't actually have any lands that are worth anything. Why is Sylvan Scrying in this cube? I guess... I guess getting Ursa Saga with Sylvan Scrying is kind of cool. Kind of like Trigon Predator. 
There are some weird cards. Yes. Luis, there's some cards here that I don't understand. Like, there's Voltaic Key in this cube, and I'm having a really hard time understanding what it's supposed to do. Lloyd, thank you so much for the 11. I don't think I want any of these cards. I guess I'll take a Tri Gizzle, put it in the sideboard. I don't think I'm playing it, though. Circle of Dreams Druid or Vorinclex? Vorinclex is probably okay. You saw Storm the Vaults in the modern deck last month. Oh my god. Oh, Sylvan's Crying would make sense for the Dark Depth stuff. That's right, I forgot that's in the cube. As far as you know, we'll take you just for big mana rocks and vigilance. But it's weird to include a card like that for that. I'm gonna take Karn, I think. Um. No, I don't like it either. Circle of Dreams drew it, Time Twister. I think that card sucks. I think I'll take... Oh, Vorinclex and Nissa is kind of a combo, isn't it? I'll take the Duplicant. We'll take Verdant Confluence, we'll put it to the sideboard. Ooh, Ranger class came back. So... Yeah, Ranger class seems like it could be good in this cube. Good probe, spark double, brain freeze. Grim Monolith. Ooh, I love Ant Viv. That card's really good. Tropical Island, but it doesn't look like we're playing any colors other than just green. I think Gan Viv looks awesome. Let me take that. What does this card do? This will cost three less to cast for each other spell cast this turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually think we can <laughs> make that re work. Not really. Virtuous Gearhook is interesting. We already have a bunch of fives. Strange Hermit, Gargaroth, Nissa Viv. Kozilek's huge. I don't think a ramp is good enough to get to Kozilek. Dinostorm. It's a cool card. Thrashta Tempest Roar. What set is this from? This is not Ixalan, right? I think I'll take the Gear Hulk. I think it's better than the Deranged Hermit. Oh no, I guess we have Deranged Hermit Huff. MH2. Interesting. Tooth and Nail or Elvish Mystic. We just take Elvish Mystic here. Pretty easy. Modern Green's the one archetype that's been available in Vintage Cube, Band Cube, Tumor Cube. <laughs> I can't get enough. It's not even that I like it that much. It's just uh, sometimes you, sometimes it's really open and it just makes sense to be in that archetype because you're getting past all the cards. Yeah, I think we take Wall here. Breeding pool or nothing else. Merfolk branch walker, but I don't think we want to play this card. What does this do? Look at the top five. You may reveal a creature card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order or rapid, hybrid, rapid hybridization for three mana. Not good. Oh, branch walker isn't the worst because of natural order. You're not wrong about that. I don't think we're playing it though. Ooh, I kind of like the Hex Drinker. That card's not bad. I think I want it. I don't know. If we're doing good ramps, sometimes you get all the weight of protection from everything and then you just win. That card can be pretty cool. You have the Brain Freeze. I think the clear pick is Heartbeat. I have the Brain Freeze. Did I take Brain Freeze earlier? Oh, I did take Brain Freeze earlier. I forgot. Let's take the Hexy Boy. How good is Uat? Also, we have Phyrexian Metamorph. This could be cool. Are we playing this Emrakul cool right now? Because right now we're straight up mono green. I think that Gaius Cradle would have been good in this deck. Rats. 
Also, I don't think we're playing the emergence sequence. I am not loving it. I don't think we're playing the Azusa Lost But Seeking. What else? This all looks good. The Bimrakul's not looking good. The Taiga doesn't look... Yeah, now on the Emmy. Um, what? I've never seen this card before. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a land. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them into the battlefield, and shuffle. Weird. So you sack land, but bring two lands in? So it's like... Harrow is good. It's New York. I'm going to take the Harrow, but I'm not probably not going to play it. Um, uh, I'll play the Trop because the Trop is like a miser for the Phyrexian Metamorph, but I don't think I'm going to play the Vivoac because it's just a top land. I don't think this one's worth playing either. Ooh, kind of like the Tooth and Nail. How about the Chromox? Nah, the tooth and nails gotta be better. It's another hoof, especially if we don't have greens on Zenith. Uh, Crows and Grip looks like a good sideboard card. Storm was open. <laughs> Breeding pool. We could play. Is that worth playing for the metamorph? Probably not. I'll take the rapid hybridization, I guess. kind of feel like we might play port maybe it's not worth it just because we have so many all right we'll see hold on castle garenbrig might also be good here actually because we don't even have rough fellows right so if we take these two out this is 22 we can bring in we have fauna shaman i think if we had um Survival of the fittest, we would play that, but Fauna Shaman kind of sucks. Oh shit, Castle doesn't cast Elf on one, though. You're right about that. Mm. Don't like that. Sounds like Harrow might be okay then. And what else? I want one more spell. Emergent sequence? It's probably emergent sequence. You think you'd still play the castle? Casting hoof is pretty absurd. It is. So if I do that, I would bring in castle and trop. And I don't think I'll play the port. But the rest will just be forests. Just like that. What the fuck is burden confluence? It's uh, it's the green of the confluences. You know, like the fake cards that they put in cube. Except it's not good. <laughs> yes, the, the answer is not good. The answer is not worth playing. I mean, there's a reason that like the red confluence and the blue confluence made the cut. Even the black confluence sometimes makes the cut. I don't know what the white confluence is. Does anybody know? Six minute triple rampant growth. No, the fiery is good. Wretched confluence is good. And it's wretched, right? The the, the black one. And um uh, Mystic is good. But like the white one, I've never seen it. It's clearly not good, just like the green one also is. is six mana triple rampant growth. Is that looks good? Okay. The white does not even have disenchant as a mode. Okay, Righteous Confluence. Ooh, obviously it has a pretentious name. Three white, white sorcery. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. Create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token with VG. Exile target enchantment. You gain five life. Okay. So you're getting 15 if you want. Oh, wow. 
they're off to some Ren and Six stuff. Do you all see that they previewed Ren and Seven? That's some real like one uppy, <laughs> one uppy nonsense. Ren and Seven. Oh. Oh, they can go ham. They can go ham with a fast bond. What is the story of Ren and Six, Doko? Oh, well, I mean, whatever. Like, Ren and Six is kind of the same thing. I mean, they could fetch every single fetch out of their deck now. <gasps> oh, boy. That's Lotus Field, but with no downside. This <laughs> is straight of the Traveling Six. Ren is like a Dryad, and Six was the tree. It was like the sixth tree they had merged with or something like that. Oh, so like Ren maybe then merges with a different tree. Wow, no loyalty, man. Yo, hey Darth, it is absolutely lovely to see you. We are just playing Mono Green out here, you know. Playing a real honest deck against this Ren and Six bullshit. Oh boy. Cathartic Reunion was a good last card for them to have. <laughs> Wait, why is that? They bin the Ramming Up Excavator because they have the Crucible Worlds. Makes sense. Makes sense. They're doing a lot of wheel spinning. It's unclear if they're actually getting anywhere. Like, they are thinning to win. Their deck is mostly spells now. They've gotten every basic out of their deck. Oh, shit. Is this a finale? Oh. Huh. Yeah, they're killing McGarrick. Who will? The amount of thinning that they did is... The thinning that you do with, like, one draw is kind of irrelevant. This amount of thinning actually does make their threat density be higher. Oh, my opponent's going Omega Ham. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I could just go Nissa, like, on top forest and then just hit with Beast and thing. And that way they can't... I mean, but then what do we do? Like, attack the Ren? That doesn't really help us. We might just be dead. <laughs> they can put so much, how many, so many counters on this thing. So are they gonna just gun down my Nissan next turn? I think so. They can go. It's four, right? So they can go one. One, two, three extra counters so that it goes to seven. Hmm. But attack with both of these, they can block one of them. It doesn't even take the ballista down, but it stops them from using counters, which is not even good for me. And it gets them down to nine. So that doesn't actually help that much. I guess I just chill. See, this is what I was saying when I was saying that I thought Field of the Dead was not good in this in this cube. They, I mean, I get that that Fabled Passage only fetches their basics, but like, they're not close, even with the wooded foothills. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably exactly nine is right. They're coming at my Nissa. So how many counters can they put on? One, two, three. So it's seven. They can go up to seven. Oh, man. I don't know. Um... I think I want to keep Nissa alive. They can't deal her any damage if we do this. Or we get to keep our creatures, I guess. Yeah, I guess may maybe we could have just chumped with one or something. They can't use it now. They they could upkeep just, like, kill the Nyssa and go down to one. Oh, go down to two, I guess. Yeah, they're doing that. If there were a way we could have killed the Walking Ballista so they actually had to commit all the rest of their mana to kill it, would have been one thing, but... If we don't draw something good here, I think we're just dead. Oh, hello. So, sadly, this is so awkward. They can actually kill my Vivian on the way out. And then they still have a Ren and Six. I guess I still do it. We don't have another choice. This ballista is going off. Maybe maybe they won't activate it. <laughs> nah, they're going to activate it. All right, so it's basically their entire board versus an Arenan 6 versus a Drange Hermit I'm about to play next turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god, no. You can just six or more lands created. Okay, let's just. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done playing. I am done with it. They were gonna pop off. Yeah, their, their, their deck was good. They were very good at using their... Uh, what's its face? Their uh, fast bond. Yeah, Crows and Grip looked okay. It was only really good against the Ballista, though, right? But it did look like it was okay. Because that did seem like one of their big like finishes. Hmm... I'm not sure about the Harrow, so let me just cut that. Oh, Trigon could be good. Maybe I should have brought the Trigizzle. Let me keep this. Grip is good against the Ballista, because I don't care how many counters it has. It just pew pew. Oh my god, no. No, not again. I also think we're copying the elf next turn. Oh my god. They binned an orcish lumberjack. They don't have a way of playing stuff from the yard right now. Yeah, because if we can just play Nissa next turn, I think we're in good shape. They're all they are also off to a very fast start, and if they have a way to Yeah, frick. Alright, let's see if we're dead.
Oh, interesting. Damn it. Awful. That stupid Elvish Mystic's good. Or the Mana Gorger Hydra's getting big, too. I mean, they're once again down to one thing. But they want their their deck density is gonna be pretty good again. Let's see if we can get a basic land with this. <laughs> they it was Virgil's Gearhulk or Lana Worlds, and they gave me the Lana Worlds. I all I wanted was a land, <laughs> good beats. They don't know that I don't have a land. Okay, Crucible, but that's basically the same thing as ramming up. They do get to kill my Karn. I just wanted to land. Wasteland doesn't bother me. Oh, that was a good draw. Because they are... Um, they're pretty low on life. And then we can play this off of you. And even play this off of you. Their Manda Gorge or Hydra is huge, but we can go wide. And they still only have like two cards or something. It yes, the the this is the downside of what they did, right? They activated the Word of Foothills for like 10. See, and they couldn't even attack here. Fable Passage, but... Ooh! That, is, that was an excellent draw. Classic six minute ones. Oh, thank God for that duplicate. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, how good is Trigon Predator? It didn't look that good, right? I think Crows and Grip's still okay. Oh, I like non basics out. That is a hell of a plan, Molly. You're a smart cookie. Yes, Molly is right about that. There's just no reason for us to give them targets with a wasteland. Their wasteland can rot in their hand. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Emergent sequence. <laughs> Emergent sequence looking kind of sketchy. Oh yeah, that was some cookie PhD levels for sure. Wow, no fast bond? I mean, they might still have it. Mountain. Interesting. Wood elves. Bam. All right, next turn we can just go Verger's Gear Hulk and maybe like slam. A Targa's Command. You may deal three damage to each opponent. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. So they're just. Nugging me for three and putting a land down? The not commonly seen mode on- Oh! Okay. 
That was kind of sweet. Sure. Sure, sure. Why not? Oh, yeah. I'm going to just smash him. You be smash. Mooly dooly. Ooh. Until mooly dooly. Ooh, they, they, they profited. I'm going to put all the counters on the wood elf. I'm just going to go, go ahead and just take him to pound town. Oh, no. That Renin 6 can kill my Lana worlds. It's fine, though. Ramming up can play stuff from the yard, though. I guess our Fabled Passage. This one doesn't cost him life, right? No. Oh. Hello. Especially before... Yeah, we can just get the hoof. Is there any way... We could cast the Druid first, but I don't know if that's better because we have to tap the Lanowar Elves anyway. I guess it is a, another creature. Oh, hold on, there's like a little mosquito here. Uh. It takes away an attacker. Well, we, we lose an attacker no matter what because here we have to do that i guess it make it makes a plus one so maybe it's fine actually yo hey Decca, welcome yeah that was abrupt <laughs> I don't <laughs> really, really know what happened there. Oh, they didn't even see us cast the natural order, so. Can we keep this? Oh, uh, I want to keep it. We kind of can't. We need to peel exactly land or we're, we're kind of... If we draw a land and we can go Phyrexian Metamorph into Copy Land or Elves, that would be so sick. But we're on the play, right? Roll the six, they roll the four. I'm on the play. I have to mull. Okay, this looks much better. Keep and send the Behemoth back. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Louise. I was I was using the hand smoother IRL. Really incredible plays, you know. I mean, I'm just gonna. Am I just getting hoof? I could get garg. Ooh. Or if I get land, I could just go Nissa. Eh, maybe I'll just go Nissa. It's really hard for them to come back from me just playing Nissa here, right? Nissa hit for three. I think so. I'm not sure how I'd feel if getting a note for Garg. It's, I mean, the problem is that Hoof is not lethal. I, I, I might Hoof here in a sec. I might Hoof next turn, actually. They did not. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It, I, I I also think it's um because we go like that natural order sack this oh then then untap forest and then hoof yeah I think I'm just gonna do that 
Suck. One, two. Suck you. Boom, baby. They might have a... Uh, oh, I thought they might have like a kill spell or something there, but nah. They're just dead. We didn't see anything except the one creature, so... I'm just straight back in. Hmm. We're on the draw. And we have the Paradise Druid this time. I think this time we can keep. We're on the draw, plus we have the Paradise Druid as a play. Or the Emergent Sequence. That's also pretty good. The Paradise Druid has Hexproof. Natural Order is like really a messed up card. It's stupid. Okay, that means that at least I don't have like the Bolt or the Lava Dart to kill my Elvish Mystic, which is good. Birds? Boppers? Didn't really like drawing that. What was printed first in Noah Tinker? I have no clue, actually. That's a good question. I kind of feel like I should play Emergence Sequence. It's so bad if it gets killed, though. Ugh. Swing. Tinker was Urza Block, Natural was er earlier. I know it was visions. They're, I mean, they're the, the same idea, right? In essence. Oh, they're also just on the ramp plan. Okay. I feel better about our emergence sequence deal. Given all of this. Sadly, we don't have the Nissa to just jam this time. Um... We could just go like ranger class plus level up and then hit with maybe the Elvish Mystic or something. Or if we don't even want to level up, we could just ranger class plus paradise druid and then set up to like duplicate something big next turn. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's do that. And to make a wolf. And to play a paradise druid. And we can even hit with a forest. I next turn I have enough for duplicates. So if their play is to play something like a big creature here, like a Gargaroth or something, I feel like we've got that covered. Also, we could do the nail for not entwine. Oh, interesting. And we could play duplicate hoof. We did get the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we seven and we put hoof and duplicate in play. Um, and then two creatures can attack and they each get plus five plus five. It's so much damage. I feel like it's got to be worth doing, right? So put up the two creature courage from your hand onto the battlefield. And I think we can kill the... Boop! Ooh, Alias! Thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate that! Yeah, so we just smash him. We kill the Zerta. And then they're just gonna have to chumperino anyway. Welcome on in, Raiders! I hope you're having a- you had a great stream with Alias. We're just playing some cube over here. We're actually huffing our opponent. We're hoofing them good. 
Oh, you're more than welcome, Alias. I'm glad you've been enjoying. Look at us. We're 2-0. I'm glad you've been enjoying Storybook Brawl. Been super hooked on the game, too. Hmm. I guess that's misleading. I haven't been playing the game. I've been watching a lot of the game. <laughs> I wanted to come out on mobile. Slightly hooked. I love it. That's really sweet. I'm glad you've been having fun with it. Very cool stuff. Also, your animated emojis came out so nice. They 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 are lovely. Didn't think you like an auto battler. Auto battlers are really fun because I think what people what magic players may sometimes miss from the auto battler equation is that it's like drafting decks and then just comparing to see which one's better. So it's like it's like all the draft portion of limited without like actually playing it out. Um that's kind of how auto battlers feel to me. Oh man, Deca, that's good. Auto battlers retired you from magic. Yeah, I, I, I too have engaged in a lot of auto battlers. I never played like TFT or Underlords. My friends were pretty into those games, but I never really got into them. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Ooh, this hand is too flooded. This game seemed too complicated even for me. Yeah, they were like a little much. I'll keep this, but I'm not enthused. I'll send back the Hulk. Are some battlegrounds have taken over your gaming time though? Lies? Yeah, I I haven't been playing um Hearthstone that much or like specifically Bee Gees. But I definitely well. Now we're playing against the- ooh, ooh, Orcish Lumberjack is kind of scary. Yeah, Doko, that's kind of what happened to me too. I like played a lot of BGs. Actually, that's not even true. I kind of got a little tired of BGs even before Storybook Brawl came out. So next time we can go Garrick into Untap Land and play Ranger Claws. All right. Oh, jeez, they're doing that shit again. Can't be countered. Flying haste. Ugh, we need end viv now. Or we're dead. Just actually, like, straight up dead. I guess we can make Nissa just... Oh, baby! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, that's four, and then I can use Garak to untap two lands and play Ranger class. That thing costs six, they have two lands. Oh, they use the Orcish Lumberjack. They sack the forest to generate a bunch of mana. Yeah, I, I guess we can hope to not die to land. That seems like a reasonable reasonable plan given our situation. Maybe it's better to just make a beast. We're taking so much damage here, fudge. Oh. Only the inferno thing? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, they're just jamming. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that was amazing. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Well, what? What can I do about that? Yeah, that was hella sweet. That was, that was incredible. They went dragon into equip it with double strike sword. Turns like two and three or something. Maybe three and four. Crows and grip, like, is it is it good? Dude, Orcish Lumberjack seems good in this cube. From what I can tell so far. Is Crows and Grip actually good? I mean, they have the Umber Cleave. Yeah, let's...
let's stick the harrow out. Let's just try that. Holy moly. Can I keep this one? This one looks good. This one's got Elvish Mystic into natural order. Maybe we can get something going with that. Keep. I think I sent a forest back. I have a Sylvan. I think that's going to help me find lands if I need them. Probably planning on like taking eight from this anyway. But up, up, ba da da. Oh, come on. Hmm. Paradise Druid better than Sylvan here, I think. Fork Bolt, huh? Oh, they are. They're very much on the like. Oh no, hold on. I forgot. This does something different than I thought. I kind of want a natural order into this the Gargaroth. Is that crazy? The other option is get Verger's Gearhulk plus put all the counters on it. It's like super YOLO jam. I I kind of want to play the Gargaroth. I think we are this is an early enough Gargaroth that we can just clown them by just like making 3 threes. Don't do it, opponent. I I dare you. Don't you do it. I dare you to kill my Gargaroth. No, okay, it was just an abbot. Into nothing. They can't even attack. I think we just won board presence. They can never attack into this either. Okay, 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 okay. So if we find something cool off of Sylvan, we can take eight and then just tooth and nail put it. In. Oh, we don't have enough mana to do that, do we? That's seven. <laughs> we have four. Oh. Stone Coil Serpent Day. Now they can try to line up some double blocks, which is kind of annoying. Crows and Grip will be so sick here. Use the ability. Wall of Roots Duplicant. Um... So, we could keep Karn and then put Duplicant and Walla Roots back on top. And then Karn tick up, and then that's a way to, like, clear them. And maybe we don't even attack with a Gargaroth here, because I think they're just going to trade off, like, Stone Cold Serpent plus Hard Fire Immolator. I don't like that. We'd be left with a two beasts that are three threes, and that's, like, pretty decent. The other option is to keep the duplicate because this one's just good. So it's like play four to keep in hand and this is back put on top of library. And we can go Karn, tick up, knowing that we have that there. And then the options here are wall or roots or forest. Either one's getting us closer to this duplicate. And then we just don't attack this turn because we don't have to. They also don't have attacks because we got the Garg. And as soon as we can duplicate away the Stone Coil Serpent, then we're back in business. Boop. Okay. Duplicate on Serpent is, is, is kind of sad. It, it's just so that we clear the way for the Garg, basically. Or it's possible they play something else that's really big that we want to kill. What if they play their own Garg? Then their duplicates are the thick boy. We make it a big chungus. Are we going to do anything? Oh, hi. Sorry, just saw this. Thank you. I appreciate that.
<laughs> there you go. Oh my god. Okay, does this mean they have ember cleave? And they're coming all at me. Uh, Exiled with Karn is currently a wall of roots. So nothing super exciting. They're all coming at me. This can block here and still make a trade with Embercleave because it goes into a 5-5. Five five. I get hit twice and then I get a bunch of beasts. Um, the other option... is to keep the beast alive because they can prowess throw this here but they are they're forced to do this now if um if i put the beast in front so maybe this is the one where they get the least amount of damage through if they put the ember cleave here that's kind of obnoxious obviously but i think this kind of like forces the issue a little bit and i can also make a 3-3 beast because they're not super high life total. So the more stuff that we have left back. Yeah, so there's the number cleave. And they're going to put it on the stone coil. Oh, they threw it. They threw it first. Interesting. Hmm. That was interesting play. Can I just get Hoof? No, we didn't get Hoof. Damn it. Damn, we really needed to get Hoof here. Because I can... Get... I can duplicate to kill that thing, but then... We're going to have to be very careful with the stupid Ember Cleave. I guess I just have to put these on top and keep the island. That sucks. Oh, no, you're right, time to straight. Don't have enough to hoof because I can't tooth and nail. So I guess this is top, top. And we're going to have to duplicate to kill the stone coil serpent. And then the duplicate dies, sadly. Double strike and trample. I mean, yeah, I think we make a 1-1 one -one as well. Do we even have attacks? I feel like we don't, sadly. Did I finally kill that mosquito? I hope so. Alright, this is sad. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mega Construct. Don't have attacks. So we have to double block the Abbot of Carol Keep. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a hoof. Um, so I can't put it in play. I need seven mana. Oh, maybe maybe with a Karn. No, shoot, that doesn't work because Hex Drinker and Emergent Sequence are going to be on top of my deck. And so I can't hit the land off of the Karn. No. I needed a mana creature or something. Damn. It's protection from instance. Damn, 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 damn. 
I think we're just dead, right? If I put hoof on top and then just play emergent sequence plus hex drinker. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have protection from this instance. <laughs> we're just dead. We could use Karn to make another 1-1, one, one, which makes the 2-2, two, two, but that this this Mog Fury Yakum thing is just gonna clown me. It, this would all be assuming that they like make no attack next turn. I think I need to sequence and then Karn to see what happens. Yeah. Maybe that's the only option, actually. Okay. Yeah, I also see no other move, so let's sequence and see if we get anything. <laughs> I think we're... Ranger class and Nyssa. Don't think either of those help. We don't have the mana to play Nyssa, and then Ranger class is just not going to do anything. Yeah, they gave us Nyssa. All right, good beats. Good beats. What are you going to do? We went with 2-1. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I, I like that line, old man reason. Just shuffling to see if there's literally anything on top because <laughs> nothing else is going to work. All right, let me wrap up this video real quick. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another Teamer Cube draft. Um, I think we'll have one more Teamer Cube draft probably because... I might be streaming next Tuesday, I think. And I think the cube is up until then. So, ooh, Prof Mayhem, you're the opponent. Your deck seemed cool. The the game where you went dragon into Embercleave, I was just like, I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. <laughs> that was that was good stuff. Um. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would super appreciate it if you did. It lets you know when other videos come out. Uh, also, totally free to you. And if you're shopping on channelfireball.com and use the code Gabby, that also directly supports the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See if you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.